It's Morpheus, he just called. He says he needs your help. He's got Neo, why does he need you? Shut up and hit the button. The Wachowski brothers felt that there should be a Matrix video game from the very beginning. They wanted to make the video game directly related to the movie. This is Thaddeus, Captain Neil Cyrus. We're going to attempt an emergency broadcast drop in the Matrix. All we can do is hope. That Sparks, I want the ship's guns online right now. In the video game, there's certain information from the film footage that you don't get from the movie. Morpheus is on the freeway just ahead of you. You get to see these other characters and how they interact and who they are through the video game. That's really never been done before. First mention of the video game was that it was like a third movie. And it had this whole amazing, intricate story weaved into the stories in the movies. Operator. Get me out of here, Sparks. Oh, I can't watch this. You've basically taken Reloaded and expanded it out into two parallel stories, not just the film, not just the game. They're actually fully connected in every way. Uh-oh, heads up, guys. Incoming. In the video game, we would perform a mission, and at the end of the mission, we walk right into movie footage. That movie footage would run directly with what just happened and Reloaded. Damn, not who I was hoping for. So instead of doing a parallel universe where you just basically see exactly the action that takes place in the film in the game, you get to see everything that doesn't take place in the movie in the game. Out of the Matrix is written by the boys, directed by the boys, cut by the boys, so they're actually directly involved in the making of the video game, which was their idea from the beginning, which has never been done before. You have to make me believe. One of the things that's really been exceptional is that we've been able to share assets directly with the crew, mm -hmm. Owen Patterson as well, because he was able to give us blueprints of things he hadn't even built yet. The look of the game is of interest to me. I want to ensure that the video game it comes back, or the console game rather, it comes back and feels like you are in the Matrix. Larry and Andy insisted that the same, you know, incredible kind of resources that are used on a film set were used for this video game footage. That meant that all the same equipment was used, the same film stock, the same actors, all the same crew. There were hundreds of people on this set and they're working on a video game. The brothers don't really treat the film scenes any differently than they would the game scenes. They're all shot with the same attention to detail. Niobe almost didn't make it. We need you here. The Sentinels are closing in. On one day, Jada Pinkett may be working on a scene in the movie. The next day, she may be doing motion capture for the game. The next day, she'll be shooting a scene for the game. Presume that you were present during this latest act of insubordination. I was. This way, the boys could write the game, they could create the game, they could shoot elements of the game, and then the game can actually come out day and day with the movie, which couldn't have happened before. <laughs> Wu Ping and his crew were working on all the fight choreography of the movie, were also doing all the fight choreography of the game. We used Master Wu Ping and his team to take fight moves to another degree that gives such a, an enormous variation to the player. There's visual effects in the game, um, unique visual effects that are based on elements that they're already creating in the films, but that we get to reuse the same shot in a different way with different characters. It's good to be home. You're going to see versions of shots that you'll find in the movie sort of reworked from uh, Ghost and Niobe's point of view. You don't have million dollar visual effects shots in games normally. Ghost created distraction. Everybody has been able to work together to make the most incredible game you've ever played. You gotta see it. 
I mean, you gotta see it. When you grab hold of those controls and when you, you start punching those buttons, I mean, you'll see you can do things you've never done before. Man, reality can be a bitch. Tell me about it.